Hello guys, this is Pawan from Amputronics. Welcome to my channel. So today I will tell you how we can send uh, DHT11 sensor data to ThingSpeak server. Uh, this ThingSpeak server is a free server you can see. Uh, means like uh, here uh, just you need to uh, go to the Google and just type ThingSpeak and uh, with the very first link link you will get then, then you need to click on that. And here when you will get the the page of ThingSpeak itself just sign up uh, with uh, uh, your uh, ID and all if you are new user so uh, just uh, uh, create an account after that what you need to do you need to create a channel so here I am just uh, I am going to upload uh, DST11 sensor data using uh, node MCU means we are interfacing DST11 sensor with node MCU and we will send that data to uh, uh, this server so how will we achieve this thing just first you need to go to my channels here it's already there but now click on new channel so here in new channel just give it a name let's say I'll give DHT11 sensor data let's say this now field level 1 first is by default it's clicked here so now first data I'll give humidity okay so now second one I'll give here temperature okay so now these two fields I have filled now just to save this thing I'll just click on this save channel now so here we go we have created these things so these charts are uh, default way we will get these charts so here you can just change the name of this like field you are getting field one chart so you can just click on here and here you can give title let's say I'll give humidity okay now uh, just save it and uh, means like here you will get humidity dst11 sensor data instead of and here uh, you will get uh, for field to give it a title temperature so that it won't get its uh, i am forgetting this p so temperature humidity and temperature now save it so here we go you have uh, got these uh, two fields humidity and temperature and uh, now what you need to go do this is a private view you can make it public as well by clicking here and uh, now uh, here you can see in this uh, API keys here this uh, right API key is important as we will use this uh, key in our Arduino code using this API key only we can uh, get the data to, uh, to this server and here are the examples of those uh, things which we will just make uh, through our get request we will just hit this link and we will just update the data in the server so manually if i just want to know whether this thing is working or not you just i will do what i will do i will just copy it and i will just paste it here so field 1 is equals to 0 I will just give it a first field is our humidity so let's say humidity is 62 and uh, uh, temperature uh, means like that is field 2 and I will give that uh, 28 ok so field 1 I have filled 62 and field 2 28 if I will hit the enter I will just get, get some acknowledgement so here we go so here one number I am getting it means first entry is filled uh, uh, in this thing speaks hour so we can just go to our private view and we can see here you can see first data 62 is humidity it is coming here and then temperature 28 so again if I make one more entry let's say humidity I am just give 61 uh, and temp field to temperature is 30 and again if i will hit enter so again this 2 i am getting it means second entry i got successfully in my server so here you can see now second entry is here 61 and this is the second entry of temperature 30 so this uh, first entry and here you can see so this way graph is coming 
so you can uh, easily see how entries are coming in this case now this same thing we will just uh, uh, do with our node mcu which is uh, it's like interface with dht11 sensor and uh, okay uh, first i'll show you my uh, uh, hardware setup then we will just move to our code okay so here is my hardware setup as you can see this is our node mcu and which is connected to this dst11 sensor so here you can see these uh, first this this brown one is our 3v3 and uh, then uh, this uh, just adjacent of that thing is ground so this is connected to this uh, these two pins so uh, this is vcc and ground now uh, this uh, this this leg is this jumper wire is going to this uh, uh, pin of uh, node mcu this is digital out pin and this is d2 pin we have taken so this is a simple setup you can see of our node mcu and it's disconnected to our pc okay now just we will move to our code and uh, let's see how things are working okay so this is our code of uh, node mcu so how to uh, just uh, get node mcu board in our arduino ide uh, i have already told this thing in my uh, i think last uh, node mcu video where we have just to send uh, we have sent data of uh, the same dst11 sensor to php my admin so please watch that video i'll just uh, put the link of that video in the description below also you can get from this i button okay so uh, find uh, uh, that thing I, I i'm not going on that de detail about how to configure node mc and all so here uh, after configuring successfully you just uh, uh, here it's in arduino id first let me just uh, after just successfully uh, adding that node mc word you just uh, select this node mc 1.0 you can choose this and here after that you will just see uh, all the things parameters are changed now which you are getting arduino which you are not getting in arduino you know so this is the case fine uh, what rate is 115200 okay fine that's uh, so here in code you can see we have updated added the library dst uh, dot h that library also you need to uh, just get uh, so here in this case uh, here we are taking dst11 so uh, we need to uh, write at the type of dst type so this we need to define dst type if you are using dst22 that is also um, that means like that is ad, means just updated version of this dst11 so you can just uh, write dst22 here so this way things will work and here we have choose uh, we have chosen two variables similar data and temperature data now here same way you need to put your ssid of your uh, router or any hotspot connection whatever uh, in which you are we have connected your node mcu and same way there this will be your pass key or password so now in server part, server part you need to write api.thingspeak.com we are using this thing speak so that's why this uh, server name would be there and same way this thing will come uh, setup part and all this uh, and in the loop part we are just reading humidity data using dst.read humidities these are the inbuilt functions of dst.h library now through this function sending to thingspeak i am just sending to uh, my thingspeak server so after this uh, it will just go to the definition of this thingspeak server uh, thingspeak uh, definition here here you can see if client dot connect server at i have just uh, put one condition and if this is true this will uh, this will be executed and here you can see we are just uh, uh, updating this uh, means like serial dot print is just to print in serial monitor but this is the main thing uh, in with through which we will just get the data in our uh, things pick server here you you need to remember this uh, this thing from where i am just taking uh, this thing I am taking from uh, this uh, just uh, go to this API keys again uh, here what we have copied just uh, take from this portion and uh, this thing you just copy and you need to paste it here uh, from here to till field, field 1 as we have two fields in this case so that's why first field 1 and then we are just uh, taking the uh, printing the variable data humidity data and same way we are taking this field 2 and field 2 is temperature data now the same way this uh, thing will come uh, other things are and again we need to write this host api.thingspeak.com this space you need to write before http uh, forward slash 1.1 1 .1. 
now uh, after that we are just closing the connection so this is the case if this thing will not occur then it will go to the else part where we will get connection failed in our serial monitor so make sure your connection and all will be proper so uh, you will get the data in our in your server okay so i have uh, already updated the code in my node mcu so this this uh, these things you need to fill up ssid and password and this way you just uh, go to all right so i'll again upload this code as i i didn't uh, just update this key now i just update it okay so uh, it is updated now now i'll just uh, upload the code in my node mcu so just click it here so it is taking time so i'll just pause so it takes a little more amount of time um, means like first time it takes a little time while compiling so now it's uploading okay so uploading will be done uh, shortly okay so it's uploaded done uploading now we will just uh, uh, minimize this thing no, sorry i'll just open the serial monitor so here we go this is our serial monitor now i just reset this thing okay baud rate we need to select first 115200 now it's connecting to router all right so now it is just getting connected uh, my ssid name was not correct that's why uh, some issue was there before now as you can see first data i just sent now we can just open our uh, things pick server and here you can see uh, we got this data latest 95 is humidity is showing and uh, 32.9 temperature we are getting i don't know humidity is that humidity is correct or not but anyway we are getting this value 95 and uh, uh, this again uh, one more value you got 95 and this 32.9 so now uh, one more thing we can do you can add widgets here so that it will look uh, more uh, means like attractive so here you can just give uh, uh, humidity and uh, you can create for field one you can just create so here you can see 95 it is showing in gauge and again one more widget click here and uh, here uh, you just uh, give temperature and uh, this is for field 2 so here just click on this create and here you can see now uh, this is just uh, not get got the latest value that's why it is showing zero this is in 95 now whenever any value will get uh, you can see this gauge will just uh, shift to uh, uh, near about see here you can see 30 uh, near about 30 point from here you can see 33 value we got so it is just shifting to this value here also you can see the value is in uh, numerical mode so this way uh, we can get the data in our uh, things peak server and manually i already show you how we are getting the data so that you uh, are only we are hitting through our arduino port i hope you like this video if you have any doubt regarding this just uh, feel free to comment us below and uh, if you are really getting something please just give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you guys thank you very much